the mouth of the just man utters wisdom, and his tongue tells forth what is just. The law of his God is in his heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. O we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us our salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has freed you from the law of sin and death. For what the law, weakened by the flesh, was powerless to do, this God has done. By sending his Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, for the sake of sin, he con condemns sin in the flesh, so that the righteous decree of the law might be filled, fulfilled in us who live not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping you to your words? Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. For all, with all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare in the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as all as much as all in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to the all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. My God. I must confess to you, it worked well in my favor. Our deacon is away today, so I can preach. 
uh, on St. Alphonsus Liguori because he is by far one of my favorite saints. Uh, a lawyer, a bishop, a doctor of the church. His writings are voluminous. His insight is deep. He is truly a great saint in my estimation. Um, there is a saying that we have so often used or heard used to describing someone. They say, that one cannot see the forest because of the trees. When we say that, it implies a sense of ignorance concerning the individual. What I love about Alphonsus de Liguori, others, Thomas Aquinas, Bonaventure, Augustine, is they were truly the wise individual who understood the reverse is actually true. If one were to stop and reflect upon a tree, a particular tree, and come to understand that tree, then one begins to understand the forest. For not all trees are the same, but all trees possess similar qualities. I hope that made sense to you. Alphonsus Liguori put it well. In his beautiful, beautiful book, The Dignities and Duties of the Priesthood, he said something that applies to priests, but yet it applies to all of us. And this is what he said. One sentence. Trifling maladies, when few, do little injury to health. But when they are numerous and frequent, they bring on mortal diseases. If you get one small paper cut on your finger, it may not do enough any damage. But if you were to get multiple small cuts, possibly one could bring in an infection that could do a lot of harm to your body. The same is true with sin, and this is what Alphonsus would go on to speak of. We get so blinded when it comes to sin, we don't stop and reflect upon sin, especially venial sins, the small weaknesses. But over and over, repeating small weaknesses, eventually all of these small weaknesses weaken the foundation of our spiritual life till one day that foundation cracks. We commit mortal sin. And we don't realize that had we gone back and examined the foundation when the cracks were still small, remedied them then with the necessary uh, supplies, then those small cracks would have never spiderwebbed to the point where the whole building would eventually crumble. It's just a thought from St. Alphonsus de Liguori. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for our deacon as he is at his doctor's appointment today, that it goes well. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who watch this Mass on video, our brothers and sisters, and for you here present in our chapel today, for all of your needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray <clears throat> for the repose of the, of the soul of John and Isabel Divine, for whom this Mass is being offered today. 
we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit, just as you granted that St. Alphonsus should celebrate these mysteries, and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your worth whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking God of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Lord, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter on my room, but also say the words, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who gave us St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with honorly pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, rushed in hell, saving in all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus' most holy sacrament altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the holy night of conception. Blessed be the glorious Son. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our Holy Spouse. Blessed be God, His angels, and His saints. 